Hi everyone, it's Jacinta from Posture Tonic and welcome to your inner thigh and ab Pilates workout. Today is optional to use ankle weights if you wanna spice up this workout a little bit more, otherwise body weight is more than effective. We're going 45 seconds on with a 15 second transition to the next exercise. So meet me lying down onto your back. First we have a curl, legs are in a diamond shape and we're gonna hold our curl up, taking one toe down and back up toe tap back up hold and then stretching the legs long and back in lower so we're going for that toe tap and then that double leg stretch go ahead breathe out holding that curl here toe tap and lift toe tap and tabletop and then stretch those legs long squeezing and then draw it back to tabletop lowering the head Good, so we're really trying to turn those knees outwards. So we're hitting through those inner thighs here as we lower and it's on the way up where the effort is. So breathe out, stretching the legs long, zip it back in. Beautiful work. Moving into our side lounging position on your left elbow, left leg, leg is long. We're gonna take that left leg up for a little pulse, pulse, and then lower it down to hover, tapping the top leg to stretch, and then we repeat. Let's go, we lift up, up, let it lower with control, hover it off the floor, stretch that top leg long, and place it back down gently, keep going. Making sure your toes are really turned out for this one. Really squeezing those heels each time you lengthen both legs. Zipping up through those inner thighs. Got five seconds left. And lower, coming all the way down onto that left side here now, placing that right leg in front, either resting or up here. We're gonna lift that bottom leg, little circles, and I'll tell you when to swap directions. Go ahead, lift that bottom leg up, and begin to make those smooth, small circles. Good, remember this leg can be resting completely on the floor, or you can keep your foot flat. Good, other way. Trying to keep that leg hovered is the aim of the game. Let it lower. Woo, that was a burner. Laying down onto your back here now. Send both legs up towards the sky. We're going for a little crisscross and then open the legs. If you want to advance, we can take a curl, crisscross, and then lower the head. Let's go. Curl it up, crisscross, and then open the legs, lower the head. Otherwise, simply keep the head down, focus on the inner thighs, or two for one, add your abs in with that crunch. Last one, and roll down. Single leg glute bridge with an abduction. So bring your arms down by your side, hover that right knee over your hip. We're gonna lift up into our glute bridge and then hold it there as we wave the knee out and then zip it back to, in, to, to the midline and then lower. So we lift up, wave it out, wave it back into midline and lower.
So really feeling that connection of your inner thigh here as we take that leg back to center. So it's back to parallel and then lower. Pushing down strong into that left foot. Last one. And then we're just gonna move it to the second side so the left leg will float to tabletop. Same thing on the other side, out, in, and lower. Ready? And breathe out, hold. Inhale, wave. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, tap. Breath out, up. Make this one your last one. And then let's repeat on the second side onto your right elbow. We're gonna take that little pulse up, up, lowering the leg down, send the legs long. Let's do it, pulse, pulse. Slowly, slowly lower. Stretch the heels to tap, bring it back in. So see if you can keep that right leg hovered off the floor the whole time. Remember, you want your toe turned outwards. Last one, lower all the way down onto that right side completely, bringing that top leg forward. And we're going for those little mini circles by lifting that bottom leg and we're gonna circle round and round. Good, lift it up, hold it there now the whole time. Just circling. Other way. Keep it up, you're nearly there. Final seconds. Ooh, and lower. Awesome work. All right, you're going to be on your elbows, prop yourself up, and then drop into that C curve. So round through your lower spine, extend your legs, little crisscross up towards the sky, crisscross down towards your mat, but really slowly, let's go. Down, 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 as far as you can, keeping that core really strong, and then wave it up. So using the core, have the toes really turned out here. So we're switching on the adductors. Beautiful work, two more to go. Coming down with your heels together, toes apart. So like a pizza slice, we're then gonna lift our hips up, hold it there the whole time. We're gonna squeeze the knees in and open back out. Let's go, pull in through to center, really squeeze those inner thighs and gently release back out. Pull it in and fan the knees out. Squeeze it in 
and fan them out, dropping those ribs down, but really squeezing hard through your glutes, reaching your tailbone long between your, between your legs. Ooh, you can take your arms up to the sky if you're feeling good. We get a stretch after this one. Last one, and coming down. Okay, we have an inner thigh stretch just to give everything a nice little release. So if you're in a straddle, we're gonna walk our hands out forward, moving into a stretch in our straddle. Let's go, walk them out, holding down, breathing deeply in through your nose, allowing for your back to expand as you melt your chest down on each exhale. Roll your knees and toes backwards. And really just surrendering here. On each exhale, see if you can melt a little deeper. Beautiful work guys. I hope that you enjoy today's inner thigh and ab focus workout. If you like this workout, please give it a like, make sure to subscribe and I shall see you in our next workout together. I'm Jacinta from Posture Tonic.